Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can randomly generate an object just by pressing a key on the keyboard. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload about video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the idea of generating an object randomly, well, the objects have to exist in the scene first at some point whether they're hidden whether they're inactive or whatever it's entirely up to you you can either instantiate them if you want to but i'm going to show you the easiest and coolest way to do it just by running a little script so firstly we need to make sure that we have a key set up that we can press that will randomly generate so let's go to edit and let's go to preferences not preferences i don't know why i said preferences because it's not preferences it's project settings it began with a p come on so we need to then go to input and click on axis and by default you'll have 18 if you've been playing around you'll probably have more but what you need to do is add one to that number so in this case 19 and you'll see at the bottom it's duplicated the very last one we only really need to give it a name so instead of cancel or whatever it's named as for you let's call this uh let's call it e key because i'm going to use the e key uh, we have positive button as E and we can get rid of alt positive button because we don't need anything right now. So all this is doing is setting up a key with the name E key. So when we press the E key on the keyboard, it will refer to this name as E key. Just remember that name. We can close that down now because we no longer need that. So let's turn off these six items. We have canned food, first aid kit, flashlight, pills, tape and a walkie talkie. So I'm going to turn them off and what's going to happen is when we press the E key, one of them will randomly generate. So let's right click, create C sharp script and we'll call this random gen. Just generate is short for a gen is short for generate, sorry. So let's open that up in Visual Studio. Now the script we're going to use here is actually very short and very simple. Uh, usually you would think it's quite difficult to create a script that would randomize all sorts of things but in actual fact it's only about seven lines eight lines of code so we can get rid of void start because we do not need that we do however need three variables one of them is going to be an array obviously the array is for the amount of objects we have so let's start with that one so public game object and then the open close square brackets because like I said it's an array and we'll just call this objects semicolon the next one is going to be the object number i.e. 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 will always be your lowest one because that's that will come up as element 0 when we create the array so that is going to be let's just call it obj num just, just for short so public int obj num obviously obj is short for object and then num is short for number and the last one is going to be the object count so i.e how many do we have we have six random objects so public int obj count and by default we'll make that equal to six if you have more or less you would put that in there so we need that to be zero now i think about it uh the object count goes later on sorry i'm getting myself mixed up i'm trying getting ahead of myself which is always a pain when you're coding because you want to get to the end and yeah you know what i mean so void update that's where we're going to have this now we're only going to enable the code in here if we are pressing the e key so that means we need to say if input dot get button down and in brackets and quotes e key the one we did before uh, quotes close bracket close bracket open curly bracket so this if statement will only occur if we're pressing the e key and what we need to do is we need to randomly generate a number i.e 0 to uh, 5 because we've got six different objects i think it's six anyway did it count six one two three four five six yes so obj num equals random dot range and in brackets zero will be the minimum and six will be the maximum now although we only want five to come up the maximum we put six because it's just one of them little quirks it will never generate that maximum number it'll always generate as the maximum the one below it so in this case uh, we have six possible numbers to generate zero to five six is just 
there because that's just, like I say, a quirk. So in this case, this will only ever generate 0 to 5. Next thing we need to do is reset obj count to 0 because we're going to actually increase this a little further down in the script. And every time we press the E key, we need to reset that so as we turn everything off. And to turn everything off, we actually need to go while and in brackets obj count is less than um it should be uh, no it should be six shouldn't it because we've got zero one two three four five yep then we do the following so in this while we say objects and in the square brackets we put obj count dot set active and in brackets false semicolon and then we need to say obj count plus equals one semicolon so what this while statement is doing is saying object zero turn it off add one object one turn it off add one so it will continue doing that after the while statement that's where we need to put o B, so object, don't know why I said OB, I was spelling it out then. Objects, and in square brackets, OBJ num dot set active true. Semicolon, let's just make sure we actually put that variable right. So let's run through this script just to establish what is happening because it may seem a little bit confusing. We're using objects with two different variables inside the array field. So what we're saying is, if we press an E key, we generate object number randomly, and we store it. Then we set object count to zero, even though it's already zero, if we've run the script again, we need to reset it. And we're saying, while object count is less than six, then object zero is false, goes off, and then object one goes off, object two goes off, three goes off, four goes off, five goes off. And then after that, we say, objects uh object num generated here turns on so a random object will turn on will appear so we've generated that random object to be seen so i'm going to save that script now and then head back into unity it's just compiling down there in the bottom right now let's set uh, an empty game object and let's just attach that script to it so this is where it gets clever so we need to attach these into our array, which is this objects with the arrow. And if we click that arrow and say size is going to be six because there's six in total. And then at the very top, click that little uh, lock there. All that will do is it will freeze this inspector panel. So we're free to then select anything we want. And this will remain here. We need to do that because we need to add these objects into that array. So rather than type out the if statement six times, it's easy doing it as an array. So if we press play now, fingers crossed this should work. So we can't see anything. So let's randomly generate an object by pressing E. There we go. We now have the can. So let's do it again. Pills. Pills again. First aid kit. See, and we can just keep doing that. And it will randomly generate an object every time we press the E key. Now, there are many things that you could use this for. I guess it depends how randomized you want your game to be. But in its simplest form, that is how you can randomly generate an object in your scene. So guys, I hope that's helped. If you want to know any more, uh, just you know, sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you want to know. Uh, yeah. And let me know if this script is used in your game and how you used it. Because don't forget, you can always modify these scripts a little bit further to create something kind of awesome. You're never restricted to just what I've done here. You could take this a lot further if you wanted to. And like I say, this is the best and shortest way of randomizing an object on KeyPress. Simply because your other way would be to have six if statements, which is just too many lines of code. Shorten your code just by using, basically a while loop. So guys, yep, that is how you do it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you around in the next tutorial.